this is your weekly reading for the element of air and we are starting with Gemini Spirit what do you have for Gemini for the week of December 24th through 30th what do you want them to know be aware of or pay attention to at this time so you had two cards fall out and you had the devil and the queen of wa wa swords. Wands. Sw I almost said swans. <laughs> um, so Gemini, this is all about you dealing with some energy. Okay, some old energy may be coming up or you're needing to face and you need to see the truth in the matter. And I feel like with that card is something that you've already dealt with before. It doesn't feel like something new. It feels like something that you've dealt with and you just need to get through it, okay? On the bottom of the deck, you have the lover's card. This is about making the choice. For some of you, for this particular situation, I feel that this has to do with the love relationship, okay? Um, I feel like you went through some changes here and you're trying to move forward. But you're waiting on it to catch. That's what I feel. Okay. There's something that you're waiting on. You're waiting to feel some sort of security in your relationship or with yourself where you stand. Okay. And you just want to make the right decision when it comes to love or just make the right decisions. Okay. I feel like you're always stuck in between two feelings or two. But it could just be you. You are Gemini okay so then this is your card okay so it's it's really about you trying to balance out the two sides of yourself the devil card is because that one side that keeps you stranded or angry or feeling anxious and upset that side seems to come out and wants your attention you may also be dealing with the aries leo or sagittarius okay and I feel like you may have insecurities about that person, if that's the person that you're dealing with. But mostly it's about taming things within yourself. It could be just that this person or um, that particular energy is bringing that out in you. Okay. And it's about you seeing the truth in the matter. Okay. Picking out what needs to to stay and what needs to go. You have to stand strong in this. I feel like you're just trying to stand up for what's right what may what's what makes you happy or like you're proud where your strength is within this situation and i feel like your strength is with you when you feel okay when you feel like things are going smoothly then you're okay but if you don't feel that energy then things get all crazy okay there could be an offer coming to you, okay? Um, or you offering something to someone. But I feel like this offer, you have to step out of yourself first to either give or receive this offer. Because there's just this, this energy of... I feel like it's holding you back and you just need to understand what it is that you're actually trying to go for here. You have to take some risks when it comes to your emotions. You have to take some risks to open up. It's like you don't want to because you feel like you're going to sacrifice a part of yourself or let go a part of yourself or feel restricted in some way. But you need to take a risk. Okay, Gemini, your oracle card is child. There may be a child involved, but usually this has to do with new beginnings, needing to start anew. This is a new year, okay? And it's going to be a new year. So you have to start anew, let go of this old energy and this old way of doing things because it's not helping you. It's not helping you. There's something about it that isn't right, okay?
Okay, next we have Libra Spirit. What do you have for Libra for December 24th through 30th? What would you like them to know or be aware of, pay attention to at this time of December 24th through 30th? On the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands. I feel like this is you trying really hard to make something work. It's very interesting because when I was meditating over the cards, I saw, this is gonna sound really crazy, but I saw someone drinking pickle juice, okay? Not that they really liked the pickle juice, but they liked something that it did for them like they thought that it had some sort of health benefits and that's what i feel like you're doing in life not just with pickle juice <laughs> but there is a new beginning or opportunity for a new beginning but you're very confused on how to bring it into your life which is interesting because you are a sign that thinks okay you think stuff out you just don't make rash decisions that's not what you do libra so it's very interesting that you have this energy but you definitely see this new beginning and there's some passion in it okay you're just trying to get your emotions to your emotions intertwined in it as well okay you may be dealing with the aries leo or sagittarius okay and i feel like you're trying to do what's right in this situation it's not that you want to continue to do something just to do it you want to do it because it has some sort of benefit or you know like end game so i feel like you've made sacrifices in the past and what i'm hearing is you make just enough amount of sacrifice not something too big but you do sacrifice your time or energy okay not nothing that's going to hurt you because i feel like this is something that keeps coming back around it leaves and keeps coming back something of that nature okay and you really want it to stay around you know, you really want this situation to be something that's solid, okay? You're willing to give to it. However, you're stuck in something. Old thoughts or old feelings or the way things used to be. There's something that you need to let go about this situation, okay? You may also need to, to separate yourself to see it from a different perspective, but I feel like every time you come back into this, whatever it is, you try to look at it from a different perspective. You keep giving. This is a reoccurring feeling to me, okay? You keep giving to this person or this situation, okay? And that's because there's always the opportunity of love. I feel like this person or even this situation offers you something happy, offers you something beautiful, offers you some kind of harmony in your life or some sort of pleasure. And that's why you attempt to, to go back into it. Be careful. I'm hearing this time you need to take a more methodical approach. Um, take it very slowly. It may feel like you're not doing anything or you're not moving but you just have to see what they're going to give to you are they coming back to actually renew something that's what it is that you need to see don't be trapped in the thought of thinking that every time they come back that is what they're doing because it may not be okay so you really need to worry about codependence on a particular situation or a particular feeling that you may have, okay? And be more calm and intuitive 
when it comes to this situation like looking at it looking at what is worth nurturing because every time you put your heart in it even though you don't feel it it cuts a little piece off okay but I feel like you're so strong and logical that you don't think that it does that, but it really does, okay? Energy work, exactly. So what this means to me is it's taking pieces of your energy, your time, your effort, your feelings. And these are things that you have to pay attention to. So this will be a good time to do Reiki treatments or a good time to work on, you know, balancing your chakras, things like that. It's just about energy work and, and your essence, like revitalizing you, your soul, your energy, okay? So last but not least, we have Aquarius, Spirit, may I please have a reading for Aquarius for December 24th through 30th, what would you like them to know, be aware of or pay attention to at this time of December 24th through 30th. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups could be a, is a feeling of loss, okay? But we'll look into it some more. So at the base of the story, we have um, waiting on something, <clears throat> waiting for a job, waiting for an answer, um, waiting for something that fits your values, your beliefs. <clears throat> You've put in effort to something and you're waiting for like full commitment in something. It could be it could be career, it could also be um, a relationship. And two things either happened. It either ended and it wasn't what you, I mean, it ended and you're sad about it. Or it came through and it wasn't what you expected. Okay. <clears throat> so I feel like you feel like you've done everything that you were supposed to do. You've done everything that you thought that you should do. And you feel like you, you're trying to look for the best in the situation or move forward from it. It's like you're trying to face what happened or face the situation. Hmm. I feel like a lot of stuff are, is going on with you this week. You know what I feel? I feel as though sometimes you're okay, sometimes you're not, but both feelings are intense both ways. Like it's never really kind of floating right through it's kind of 
up and down. So in your best in your best times, you're trying to look for the best in a situation because you want to stand strong. I feel like you don't want anyone to see you fail. I also feel like you have a certain vision of the way you want your life to be. And that's why you're continuing to move forward. You will get an offer. This may be of love, acceptance, but I feel like this is an opportunity to be in sync with You, with what you want like a message that helps you step out of this confusion because it kind of feels like you're just floating and then this comes to put you back on some sort of track to give you some path it like opens up some clarity for you a sense of victory that you're on your right path you just have to wait. I get a feeling of, you just have to wait. Your card is focused on service. I'm just gonna read this one. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Yes. So stay on your path because I feel like on this path of justice and moving forward, even though you feel stuck or confused and like you don't have a direction, even though you would like to have one, but you're still moving forward on your path you're still moving forward. As long as you live with justice and clarity and honesty, you will get the message. You will get a message that is in sync with your vision of where you should be. And that will help bring some clarity or some victory into your life, like give you strength to keep going, okay? So thank you so much for listening. I will see you next week. I love you very much. Love and light.